Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you, my viewers especially, and my subscribers. I call you lovers of truth, and I welcome you to Freedom to the Captives channel and Bisola F. Zeba Johnson TV. Yes, uh, we have started a series on T.B. Joshua's wickedness. The last time we spoke about his sexual promiscuity, how his sexual perversion was exposed and is continued to be exposed. But today, I have some clips for you that I would like to share with you. The Bible says by their fruits, you will know them. How will you know them? The yardstick to measure ministers of God is not about how large their organization is, their human organization. It is not about uh, how many numbers of followers the influence and controls on social media platform or how, how much money they, they have to throw around by their fruits, Jesus said, you will know them. By their fruits, Jesus said, you will know them. By the fruits of T.B. Joshua, we know that T.B. Joshua is synonymous to wickedness. Yes, he may be cool on the surface as a swamp, you know, a swampy, a swampy uh, river is always cool on the surface, but dangerous beneath. Crafty as a snake, a double-faced monster is T.B. Joshua. There are many who are afraid to speak out, but we that we are talking, yes, we face the threat of death every angle and every day but the lord that watches over us never sleep he never slumber abdul fatai temitope balogun popularly known as tb joshua is just like elimas the sorcerer he knows it is much easier to deceive the naive and the gullible christians with a bible-based name such he chose tb joshua or even a name that is conjoined with jesus christ you know according to the biblical translation of joshua it means the oshua it means yahweh saves it means yahweh is salvation it means yahweh the savior this is the direct name of jesus christ which Abdul Fatai Balogun deviously has chosen for himself, as he also called himself the Black Jesus. He hides under a name that depicts the Messiah to capture his victims. Fatai Balogun hijacks Jesus' name and he infused Emmanuel into it. Another name. Of Jesus Christ Emmanuel another name of Jesus Christ as his own personal alias he chose the name as his own personal alias definitely the guy has packaged himself from the beginning and you know where he is heading to Jesus Christ had crown of thorns on his head on, 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 on the cross of Calvary. Let me shock you. Do you know that T.B. Joshua also has a crown of thorns that he puts on his head, which he uses during the time of his occult enchantment. Talking about enchantment, an enchanter is one who uses magic or sorcerer, especially to put another person under spell. This is the pattern of repetition of combination of occult words in order to arm another person. 
Remember what Balaam did. He kept repeating some words and he kept uh, uh, performing sacrifices at different stages. We shall see how Fatai also does his things. Those that escape the synagogue will be pursued physically and spiritually to die or to become a nuisance in life. I have two audio tapes to share with you. The first audio I will play with you is of a man called Akewi. He worked with other men like Tunji, like John Chi, the Cameroonian guy, like Chris, uh, Christopher, Westman Christopher, OJ, Jeremiah, Taiwo, Julius, Dokun, Benga and if I can remember, uh, Sam Four, and another guy, you know, light in complexion, called IK. They all worked together inside the groove of Marine Mountain of TB Joshua. I'm going to do a video on that groove soon, as the Lord permit us. Yes, these people are made to be heartless. They are made to be wicked and to be deadly by TB Joshua. They help him to destroy people's lives by, by burying people's pictures on the sand. Or some, they, 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 they remove the back of, the, of a tree and dig inside and dig um, and, and put people's pictures inside the, inside the tree and, and cover it all. You know, uh, all, the, all the trees inside that uh, evil mountain are full of evil. Every disciples of TB Joshua has representation. Every disciple, every worker, and some, some top members, they have a representation in form of an effigy or figurine that has been buried inside the swamp after they might have uttered some negative uh, wordings against their lives into this figurine. This is a serious matter. This is a very, very serious matter. Some of the people's pictures will be poured inside river flowing river to flow off and most times they use hot axe axe that is very hot they put axe and machete inside fire and when it's re when it's red hot they use it to brand those pictures sometimes the people that are dead they remove the head of the picture and join it to the edge of someone that is living and use the body of someone who is living and put it in the body of someone who is already dead. So, if you have anybody in that place called synagogue, it's time for you to take a decisive action. The synagogue is a place where souls are being traded. You know, the, the, you know uh, in the book of Revelation 13, we read where uh, uh, some people trade on human souls in order to destroy their destiny, in order to exchange their destiny. There are many rich and influential people in the society, presidents of nations that patronizes Fatai Balogun for exchange of glories. What you see on Emmanuel TV is just a facade, a frontier, a frontier. Of course, Fatai uses his disciples as elements of rituals for them. This is the reason you see that many of them die mysteriously or cannot live to fulfill 
what they are destined to be. You, you that have relations in, in, that, in that coven, it is time for you to do something. As I said earlier, I have two audio clips to share with you and that will show you how wicked and terrible this guy is. So I know the kind of prayer point I've offered against you and Bragoma. Hmm. Especially during that time they release the uh, video. Yeah. I know what I did. I know that punishment is not because of it's not because I stay in the synagogue. I'm receiving it because of my ignorance of knowing the word of God by not praying against anybody. Hmm. And I have known the prayer point as offered against many people. That is the Joshua used you to do. Yes, yes. So, so at, that, at, you know. are, at that time, even though I see the, the arrow, but God helps me out. We thank God. No. Among, among, the, among, the, among the disciples, uh, then, uh, my God. So that is that one enough is a testimony for you. That is that is even anybody enough for evangelism to the whole world. Anybody that see me, they will say, Ah, ah you are still alive. It was yes, so listen. It's no sign of a uh, 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 disabled uh, ailment or sickness or disease in you. So which means I know that the truth will prevail one day. Hmm. The truth is so, the baby Joshua said you should pray yeah. against me. That, oh, not only you. It's all the medical And this man now is on the run because he said Fatai is always appearing to him in the dream, threatening and trying to suffocate him. But I told him that, you know, I'm forgiving you. You need to repent on your own and make sure you you, you give your life to, to God. Yes, the next uh, audio is about a woman who visited a synagogue and ended up on the streets for 10 solid years of her life, picking trash. Thank God she received mercy to be restored. How many today are still roaming the streets because their mind has been tampered with? How many? Think everybody need to think about that. You, 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 you go on the street and you see a lot of women and men that are besides themselves. All of them are not drugs. There is something behind it. And that's something is what we are talking about. I did I didn't get that. You said they do they did what? Uh, the lot right, like um uh the lot right mix the lot right, they put it on white handkerchief and they bring it in my room, they put it right there like that for me to eat. So at the back of my head, so I'm not sleeping in a white handkerchief, it's not in a place. Why? Hey, so I ended up eating that food, but at the back of my head, I said, what's that I'm putting myself in? You know, in my Syrian language. So what did I put myself into? Why did I even eat? I never seen that. Even in the hey. most remote African village, we will put food in a plate or some kind of bowl. But in a white anchor tree, they love rice. And they charm me so much that I, it's like I ended up eating it. Just like that. Hey! Hmm. Just like that. Hmm. Just like that, my sister. For over 10 years, my life was wasted on the street. Picking trash on the street. Picking trash in the place where you see saying that shit there in those trash and picking it. Nobody, I don't care. I will stand on that. Like 40 hours, I get extra dark. I don't even take shower, nothing. Hmm. And then, until God in his infinite mercy at the right time to set me free. Jesus never failed. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Even myself, I need to pray. 
I said, God of heaven, the one who died on the cross of Calvary, the blood of Jesus that was shed, that mm. power, there's so much power in it. Not just that power, not mommy was a power, not Uganda's power. Every power where I know, ever know, where I go see the server at the uh, synagogue, it is not for me. I wash myself with the blood of Jesus. And I stand on that. I pray for him. I fasted. The way I'm set free, I no longer take medication. I'm fine. And I love to wait in Jesus' name. Mm. I just know God and the people that must set me free. Because since I came in this country, I was the one that brought my sister to reach. I know, I know. And then I brought my brother, I brought my brother John. John. I want to tell me I go crazy. How? How all of a sudden I go crazy? Killing myself, my struggling money then, my sister Teresa, she got into synagogue so much that that woman was sick. I can put her over 100. She won't go to the hospital. She put her picture to say, Papa. She was uh, trying to involve every person she was doing their hair. Papa, I said, Why did I bring this man to my sister? Now she hold on to him like he is God. Oh, see, the temperature was so high. By the time I took her to the hospital, it was too late. That's yes. why I did a lot of apples. Because I'm telling you, even my mother dying, a cripple. Because Teresa now, because she's one of the child too, she took my mother's picture, send it to Joshua. So Joshua will pray for my mother. But at, at the back of my head, I say, it's probably this Joshua that makes my mother cripple. Hmm. Sitting down like that, she died cripple. See? Just like that. Young young woman, 61 years old. I came to this country. I was doing so well. I know. I, Joshua, I know. I know. They said, it took me the government system to take my children away from me. Until when God was setting me back, I had to fight for my children and I got my children back. Mm. Jesus Christ never paid. My testimony is big. I know! I'm going to on here and uh, it's live and it's prime time. That's where God is taking me now. It's the one that station where the whole world knows. God will, God will take you, God will take you, God will take you higher. This is what Joshua has seen. This is what Joshua has seen that you want to hijack. But God, but God's mercy said no. It was the mercy of God that stand for you. I went to the center, prayed to the center, and I finished speaking trash. Hmm. You see, all those times you were... Medicine, 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 no, no. I know, I know, I know. All those times that, you know, you were on the streets. What you supposed to do at that time, Joshua was doing it. All the, you know, the, at that time, at that time, the whole world, at that time, the whole world supposed to know you. See, it turned to him. The world is knowing him. But the world will know him in shame. Don't worry. The world will know him in shame. I thank God for you. So hold on to God. Not to depend on any man. No matter the situation, even the the people in the Bible that God loves so much, they go through, you know, some situation. Don't because of that and be running after any prophet. Yes. Wonderful. The story of this woman will have been the same as mine. But God in his infinite mercy, who has seen the end from the beginning, saw me through. It wasn't that I didn't experience some spiritual trauma, even physical trauma. But God saw me through. That was what that man on the first audio clips was saying. That whoever may think that I will be alive today or whoever see me today will never believe. Even in disciples' quarters, in their meeting, T.B. Joshua has already gone to their meeting to announce my death that I was dead because I spoke against him. In as much what I'm saying is not lies. Definitely, God who always back up the truth, we see us true. What we are saying, what we are saying, what, you are, what people see every day is not just maybe some people get crazy on the streets. 
everything is not about drugs. There is always some time spiritual underline and this kind of TB Joshua, they are the one doing it. Hijacking glories, taking over people's destinies. Many people may ask, why do God allow this? In as much you are not in God, in as much you have not surrendered yourself to God, but you have surrendered yourself to satanic agents, it means they can do anything against your life. The antidote, the cure is coming back to the Lord. This is another evidence that we, we are having, you know, from a former disciple of T.B. Joshua that I left him behind. But today, he has become our eyes to see what happened behind my back. This is usual thing they do. Remember, I once said in one of my interviews how uh, T.B. Joshua usually use people's pictures for enchantment to make them retarded to make them stagnant in life and wasted their, their, their destiny. Why he sits on top of their glory to enjoy it. But I tell you, no evil lasts forever. God's time is at hand. I pray he repents. I have nothing against him. You know, as I always say, I have nothing personally against him. So I'm just saying this so that you, you receive wisdom and also share it so that people will not enter into his captivity. You know, the way we entered, some didn't survive it. I tell you, some did not survive it. But we that survived it, we, you know, we thank God for the grace of God that we enjoyed. I tell you, me, I do not take it for granted. I would also like to invite everyone who have not received Jesus Christ into their life to repent and surrender to him. No one on earth will ever believe that the whole world will come to this point about COVID-19. But see where we are, it came. So when they say Jesus is coming soon, as the scripture said, he is coming and it may come any time that we least expected. So what will you tell him that you have done with your life? What will you tell him? After receiving Jesus in your life, take your time, read your Bible, do good to others, reach out to others, live life of sacrifice develop personal relationship with jesus and it shall be well with you for salvation of your soul you are not giving your life to jesus for you to be rich or to 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 well is also part of it matthew 6 33 says seek for the kingdom and all these things that you are running after will be added to it but many people today they are running after what's supposed to run after them. You can't put a cart before the horse. It is the horse that drives the cart. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may you be blessed. Till we meet again next time. Blessed.